It's typically the busiest time of year for food pantries. With Thanksgiving just one week away, One Food Pantry in Brownsville is gearing up. Channel 5's Monica Theonda tells us how the community rallies to help those in need. The food pantry at Good Neighbor Settlement House in Brownsville has been open for just over a year. They feed thousands of families in the community, but that doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> it's starting to fill up. The food pantry at Good Neighbor Settlement House is open year round. But Belinda Bradford says they see more people coming in during the holiday season. Not everyone can afford to buy all the fixings to make a Thanksgiving meal. If you need a meal, you know, we're available. When Thanksgiving approaches, Bradford says they start to get more donations from the community. And thanks to that, we identify families that are in hardship and we'll try to donate those uh, gift baskets to those families. On average, the pantry feeds between 50 and 80 families each day. Bradford says when there's extra food. If it's not being used for our food pantry, we'll also ask for uh, non-perishable foods or pop-up uh, canned goods so that way we can make a little goodie bag for our street homeless. For one volunteer, being able to help those in need means everything. I really enjoy helping people and making a difference in my community and this is the best way to do that. Hector Berlaga helps people get in and out of the pantry. His goal? making sure they leave with enough food so they don't suffer from hunger. It's so rewarding because the minute you help a stranger, it feels so good. It's an unexplainable feeling. His message to the community this holiday season. I want to invite everyone who wants to help people. This is the place to do that. He hopes others will find it in their heart to volunteer and make a difference in their community. Bradford says the food pantry isn't just for the street homeless. It's for everyone in the community. You can find the hours of the food pantry on our website at krgv.com. From the Brownsville Bureau, Monica De Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.